Bruno Madrigal. Today we are creating this stunning cake with buttercream. I love it. It looks cool. Let me show you how I did it. Hey everyone, welcome back to Koali Pops. My name is John Leguizamo and today we are creating Tito Bruno. Is that what it's called? I'm Filipino, so I said Tito, but his name is Theo. <laughs> Theo Bruno. Bruno is amazing. He just needs to work on a little bit of self-care and maybe like sit in a tanning bed for like a few hours. He's amazing and we're celebrating him with this awesome cake. So let me show you how I did it. Now I'm starting with a round cake board for my base and I'm using pipe couplers and PVC pipe to create my support system. I've got a four inch round cake to create his neck and then I'm using a piece of styrofoam and a cake board to support a 10 inch round cake. I'm gonna add buttercream in between all of my layers and on top of this I'm going to add two eight inch round cakes to create the top of Bruno's head. Once all my cakes were stacked I started to carve. Now, just very slowly carving the front of Bruno's head and I ended up using a lot of my cake crumbs to create all of the wavy texture for his hair. When I was happy with my general shape, I gave my cake a crumb coat. Covering the front of this cake with a crumb coat was fine, but all of that like texture in the back made it really hard to get into all the crevices. After my crumb coat, I placed this in the fridge to set up. Then I added some Bruno Skin Tone Buttercream. It was, I think this is the worst color buttercream. <laughs> oh my God, it's pale because he's been inside <laughs> the walls for like 10 years. So we've got a general shape. I put it in the fridge and then I started to fine tune all of Bruno's features. There's a lot of carving and you know what? I thought that I made most of his nose with cake, but his nose was so much bigger than I imagined. So I had to add a little bit more buttercream to create that big old nose. Now, five hours of work is shown to you in 30 seconds. And when I was happy with the way that my face looked, I smoothened it out as much as possible. And then I added white fondant to create his eyeballs. On went a very thin layer of Bruno Skin Tone Buttercream to give him a consistent complexion. And then I'm using a paintbrush to apply all of the brown buttercream to create his hair. I changed this later on to be black because this is the wrong color. Bruno has black hair, not brown. When I finished covering his hair, I added more fondant pieces to create the inside of his mouth. So we've got maroon fondant for the back, we've got white fondant for his teeth, and then I used very thin layers of green fondant to give him some eye color. Now with some gray buttercream, I gave Bruno some dark circles and then I used black buttercream to highlight his eyes and give him some eyebrows. It didn't really look like Bruno at this point. It just looked like a very happy pale guy. And it wasn't until I added his five o'clock shadow with like very thin layers of buttercream that I actually started to believe that this is Bruno. Using black buttercream and just applying it with like this wiggle so that I could create all of his untamed curls. And while I created most of his curls with buttercream, I added some fondant pieces to the front so I could create the perfect hairline. After that, I finished his eyes with two pieces of black fondant to create some pupils and then a little bit of magic sauce and white food coloring to create some catch lights. Then, voila, Bruno was complete. I love the texture that I added with black buttercream to create his hair. I also love that five o'clock shadow and the dark circles under his eyes. It looks bad, but in like a good way. I think that of the three Encanto face cakes that I made, this is my favorite. Only because I think it has the strongest facial expression of the three. I love his smile. I love how wide his eyes are and his exaggerated facial details. It's just beautiful. I love it. Now I'm curious, which one of my Encanto cakes do you like the best? Bruno, Luisa, or Dolores? I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your cake ideas down below. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye. I'm really digging marble cakes lately. You know, when I was growing up, my favorite cake was chocolate and vanilla marble. I just love the way that it swirled. So when I was creating my Bruno cake, I used vanilla cake, but I dyed some of it green to match Bruno's powers. It looks really cool. I don't know how appetizing it looks, but it looks really cool.
I screwed up my Bruno cake. After I finished stacking all my cakes, I realized that I needed more cake to create all of his untamed curls. Luckily, I had a bunch of cake scraps left over, and after I glued them on with buttercream, I had the perfect amount of volume. So, crisis averted. I hated creating Bruno's skin tone. The brown buttercream that I used to create Dolores' cake made her skin look sun-kissed. But like the brown buttercream that I use for Bruno, it just looks like muddy water. This fool's been living in the wall for 10 years. What the heck? So I had to make his skin tone look super pale and it just, it looked ugly. <laughs> we need to get him to like a tanning bed stat. Bruno's hair is just a ton of black buttercream and I'm curious how everyone handles black buttercream. For me, I'm using chocolate buttercream so that I don't have to use that much black food coloring. And I thought that I did a good job using cake to create the volume in his hair, but I didn't. So I had to make up for it with more buttercream. Bruno makes me cry. Which is why I'm celebrating him with a cake. It's just so sad. While I was making these cakes, I was watching Encanto. So I've seen this movie so many times. And each time, Bruno's story just becomes more devastating. Everybody's power is seen as a gift. And yet, his must have felt like a curse. I'm so curious about what was said around him and to him that he felt he needed to leave. Hurtful. It must have been so painful. And to have to pair that with the amount of love he felt for his family, that the only solution he saw was to live inside the walls. It's, oh my gosh, if I think about it too much right now, I'm just gonna cry. It's so sad. Oh my God, Disney, you have to do this? Gosh. <gasps> Why? Why did you do this to us? It's so sad.